Now the topic today we are going to cover is standard deviation. We have studied about range, we talked about mean deviation, we have studied quartile deviation. These were the first three different methods, measures of dispersion. Because we have already done the work on the mean deviation, we have calculated deviation from the mean and found out how much the dispersion is. Why then to study standard deviation? And standard deviation is one of the most widely accepted uh, concept of finding the dispersion. Reason behind this, when we find out, when we calculate mean deviation, what we do, used to do? We used to ne uh, neglect the negative sign. Remember in the formula, we used to take the mod of absolute value of D. D means difference between the values and the mean. The formula, if you go and again rewind and check the formula, we always uh, neglect the sign of the difference from the mean. That we have done it because otherwise we, what we will get? We will get the summation of the d is equal to 0 and every time the dispersion will come 0. In that case, that was a concept. Mathematically, it has been said that using the absolute value and ignoring the sign does not have that good impact as using the concept of square. If you square something, obviously any negative sign, any negative value when you square it becomes positive. Ignoring the sign, using the absolute value, one method. Ignoring, yeah, removing the negative sign, using the concept of square. This second method has been considered better. Because the method was uh, considered uh, be better as compared to the earlier one, the concept of standard deviation appeared. Who gave this? It was given by the Carl Pierce. It was developed by the Carl Pierce. So, if I say that we have studied the mean deviation and mean deviation, what we used to do? We used to ignore the negative signs using the absolute concept. So the better way to remove the negative sign is to square the values as we, have, we will be doing in standard deviation. Now, it, what is, how we define the standard deviation? It is a positive square root of the variance. When I say variance, variance is a square of the deviation from the mean. We will do in the numerical and we will understand. So, what is standard deviation? It is one of the basic method of statistical analysis. It is denoted by SD and um, SD is, that is capital N, capital S, uh, capital D, we use SD for this and it is uh, the mathematical symbol which we use is sigma. We, when, when the standard deviation is calculated, how it is interpreted? Interpretation says, the interpretation of standard deviation is when you get lower standard deviation means lower dispersion, that means data is very much close to the central value average. Average, that is your mean. Here we will not going to use the other methods which comes in the average, that is median and mode. Only mean is used. In mean deviation, we had an option where central value can be mean, can be mode, can be median. There were three different options in the mean deviation. But here in the standard deviation, only the method of this finding the central value is mean. So, we are going to find out the standard deviation and then uh, we will see if the low standard deviation comes means data is very much close to the central value mean. If the standard deviation is high, it means that all the uh, data, all the observations are away from the central value means dispersion is high, scattering is high. Now, what are the steps of standard deviation? How to calculate the standard deviation? Very first thing to calculate the standard deviation, you have to calculate the arithmetic mean. You have take, you should take care whether uh, the arithmetic mean has to be calculated in the given individual series. If the, if the series given is uh, discrete, Slightly, there is a different method of finding the arithmetic mean and if it is in continuous series. Take care, find out the mean in the, all the three types of series, whichever is given in your case. Second, you have to square the difference from the mean. Third, you have to find out the average of the square difference and this average of the square difference is called variance. Once you do that, uh, squaring, uh, once you find out the average of the square difference, you, uh, you calculate the square root. That square root of the variance is called standard deviation. Now, there are two different ways of finding the standard deviation mathematics, two different 
formulas are there. One is to find out the, uh, the standard deviation with the actual mean. Second method is through the assumed mean. In the individual series, to find out, we, we have to only calculate the diff, uh, mean and difference. But in the discrete and continuous series, we have to take care about the frequency. Let's take one numerical and we'll proceed with that. 